Oh, we're not only here back doing some more League of Legends action. Ooh, this is gonna be annoying. She's gonna, yeah. Yeah, she's just gonna range poke me like that. I need to actually get hit so she pulls aggro. See? Why did she drop it immediately? That doesn't make any sense, man. It's a bad matchup early, but kind of have to do this a little bit until the wave starts pushing for us. You have to, like, kind of take an auto attack so the minions focus on her. Otherwise, like, Jace will do this to you, and, like, there's a few ranged champions that can play this way. It's, like, not fun at all, but once we get out of the really early parts in the lane, we'll be okay. It's really just a cheese build. Uh, the champion doesn't scale at all when you do that type of a build. I mean, you can AFK split push all day, but it doesn't really matter. You just have to get the wave to shove. Unfortunately, it took us two potions to do it, but it's fine. Not a big deal. You can stabilize from here. Get our Q stacks going. Once you have Q stacked up, you can make plays now. It's gotta be smart about it. Don't get hit by a spear, let the wave fully shove in. Damn, those grass bottles hurt. We might throw a spear here. We just gotta wait. Let the wave shove into us, and we'll be good. Nice. Might have a play here. If I hit that, I could have made a play. This is going to be annoying. Pop the bone plating. The main problem is that she has ignite. I'm gonna have to leave right now and just reset. I'm gonna get a Dorn's Blade. Should help a little bit. I'm actually gonna get one of these too. Can't get hit by a Q here. Hopefully he finishes the kill. I'm here. I just need a couple of seconds and I go in. Yeah, nice. That's really good for us. Cool. Trying to shove this wave in. Syndra's coming top, what the fuck? Oh, he tried to go in on her. That's funny. Oh, whoops. Um. Whoa. It's almost good. We'll take it. He, he wanted to Q. I know what the play he was trying to go for. It was, it was fine. I mean, it sucks that he died, but I think his play was fine. He just kind of got CC'd at the last second. Couldn't get his... Couldn't get this Q off. If he does Q, he drops tower aggro. It's like really good for me though. I caught so much uh, farm right there. We can just reset here and be very strong. Uh, kind of have to like run all the way over here though. Could probably check these bushes. Gonna go for our wit's end after we get our blaze rune king. That's kind of the build right now for Aurelia. Quick rundown of the champion real quick. I didn't do one. Your main your main uh, goal is to get your five stack. Five stack is your passive. Every time you use your Q, you get a stack. Every time you hit a W, you get a stack. Your E, you get one stack. Your R, you get one stack. Actually, I don't remember about R, to be honest. No, I don't think you get one for R. It's just a Q after. And uh, if you hit E or R, it marks your enemy target. And you can press Q on a marked target, and it has no cooldown. The same way it works when you kill a minion with Q. You get the reset. But yeah, the passive is after five stacks, so this would be, well, if I hit that minion, that would have been one stack. I'll show you in a second. Just need to wait for my Q come back up. Unfortunately, we missed it. So like right here. We get one stack there. And at five stacks, you get... Um... Yeah, it wasn't smart. After five stacks, you get... 
the attack speed buff and on hit damage buff. I mean, you get attack speed buff for every stack, but at five you get the on hit uh, damage increase, which is really huge because it's like, oh, that's gonna hit. Ooh, never mind. I felt like that probably should have hit me. I think I misplayed. Yeah, he's just gonna play to the bushes the whole time because the bush gives him more movement speed. Uh, I lost my 5 stack, so I kind of have to go slow until I can build it back up again. Pop bone plating. I like it. Pop potion here. We can still make stuff happen. I can cue the cannon. I can look for a dive under tower. Just gonna walk so she gets uh, zoned out. Pop the potion immediately here. Get a ward in this bush. I see Lee Sin bot side, so she can't really do anything here. You can actually just stun this whole wave up. Oh, did I miss a plate because I'm stupid? Yep. Alright, come back. 65 to 49. Huge lead. Plus, we forced her to buy two Dorns, which is pretty inefficient. Well, okay, it's efficient early game, but once you, like it delays how long it takes you to get to the rest of your build, basically. That's why it's not good, but it is good early game if you are playing an early game cheese champion like this that has to kind of win, right? But it's not going well. Grab this, we can get boots here as well, and it should be good. Just run back to lane, swap these, cool. So yeah, Blade of the Rune King into Wits is our build. Uh, it's basically playing off of your passive. Like, passive gives a bunch of attack speed. Blade of the Rune King gives a bunch of attack speed. You get on-hit damage from Blade of the Rune King. You get on-hit damage from your passive. Passive is doing 44 on-hit damage. Your Q also applies on hits. So if I Q somebody... Oh, dang. I'm trying to come here. Uh, he knows. So that might actually give my jungler some free time. Oh, damn, my jungler is going ham. I think he kills that. That champion's so bad. <laughs> I've done that build in top lane. It's actually really good. It's just, if you don't win, you're useless. Because you're AD Nidalee, so you fall off really hard. You don't have like the AP scaling. Like sure, you can still do the split push, like take tower stuff, but it's not that good. Is he gonna? Oh, that's stupid. Why didn't I just press 2? What? Nah. She doesn't execute with her Q and it's magic damage, so I don't reduce it with my W. W is a damage reduction, but it's only on physical damage. I was trying to save this guy, but he was ignited, so I should have just let him die. And then I didn't have enough stacks to really make the play there. That play under tower is really bad. At least I didn't flash for it. He flash ulted, so I stayed under tower. My original plan was just to jump on him and then go right here, drop tower aggro. Uh, I mean, I can TP bottom right here. I think, I think I might. Nah, never mind. I mean, it sucks, but it's not really like that impactful, that play. Just because we outscale. Like if you're winning and then you like, if you're winning and you outscale and then you make a mistake, it's not that big of a deal because you can come back from it pretty easily. Because I already outscale her and I'm already winning, so it just kind of like delays a little bit, but yeah, it's not that big of a deal. Be okay. The other nice thing that you can do is you can Q E. I'll show you what I mean in a second. If there's minions here, I could W or E them to keep my five stack. Five stack would help me kill a tower a little faster. First tower. I'm just going to reset and get my item here. Uh, I actually might just go fight her. Because I know where Lee Sin is. He's in bot lane right now. Or I just clear this wave. Probably a better play.
All right, reset. So that was the play I was talking about. As I queued to that minion in the back, I threw E underneath it so she doesn't see me throw the E. And then right as I get to that minion, I throw my E, my second E. Or as I'm traveling toward it, I throw my second E. Um, grab this. It's awkward. Should sell here and get like this. Some shit. Uh, dragon. I think we're gonna end up giving it because he's dead for 16 seconds. I'm gonna run top. Mm. We're up a decent amount of CS still. We're gonna catch a big wave here. Should be good. Just too easy, man. You can't get away. That's what I mean. This is why this build's so stupid. You get five stack and then you just auto attack. I didn't even use Bork or anything. Well, I mean, I was saving it for when she actually got away. Did you get five stack? Go ham. And we follow this up with Wit's End. Even more on hit damage, even more lifesteal. Because think about our lifesteal right now. We have lifesteal from Bloodline, which is obviously going to stack up even more. It stacks kind of slowly. Uh, lifesteal from Bloodline, lifesteal from uh, Blade of the King. Our Q also has some healing when we use it. Uh, I was going to go for a kill right there, but it's kind of greedy. I still want to go for the play, but it's sort of risky with no ultimate. If I had ult, I would go for it. That's going to hit. We just leave right now. Missed too many abilities. Uh, they're snowballing on the other side of the map, unfortunately. I mean, uh, Master Year really fed, though. It's like our saving grace this game. I'm going to get this and I'm going to get boot upgrade here. More movement speed. Get a pink ward as well. Actually, we'll just get that since that builds into our wits, right? Am I dumb? No, no. Okay, I was right. Sweet. Still up a little bit of CS. It's not really that big of a deal. It's more just that we outscale this guy. Like even if, even if we were even, <laughs> if we were even, we'd still outscale. So being ahead, noise. Get all this farm. Push the wave out. Do what we can do. I think Aurelia is quite good right now, especially after the recent buff. They buffed up our E damage by 30. Doesn't sound like a lot, but it's actually pretty impactful. Call that a massive outplay, boys. What up? I misclicked at the end there and almost died for it, but... <laughs> That's why I like this champion. OP, OP. I mean, it's OP when you play well. It's very mechanically intensive. Like, if you watch TF Blade play, it's pretty obvious how strong this champion could potentially be. Oh, let me get it for the stacks. Lame. If I got 5 stack, I'd kill this tower faster. That's alright. We still get it. I think we're okay. I have two items now, hitting my massive power spike. I can go bot, try to take that tower. I don't really want to be top lane anymore since there's no tower for me to really get. We could do this, it's not a bad idea. Okay, I'm better than TF Blade at Aurelia. Yeah, good one, dude. <laughs> my, Aurelia is, my Aurelia is okay. Like I can do plays like that every once in a while, you know? If I play this champ all day, which, would, I don't know, man. She's pretty fun. Like, I can definitely see why a lot of people like to play this champ all day. 
I, I went through a phase where I played her a lot. And then it's kind of like it has a specific style. Champions that have like a specific style, it's hard to... I mean, it's easy to like always remember how to play them, right? Like Rumble, way different than any, any other champion. So I kind of always know how to play Rumble. Oh, that's unfortunate timing. Yeah, like every once in a while, I'll make a massive play like that. <laughs> oh, God. There you go. Uh, we're going Black Cleaver next. 20% CDR on that item is huge. Nice. Nice flash, bro. Good shit. Good shit. I have teleport to answer this guy. I can TP here. I don't know if it's worth it. I'm gonna come here. I think it's okay. Let's run toward him. Oh, I think I got refueled by the trap. Uh, we're okay here. Kind of messed up a little bit. Missed my E. It's alright. Sweet. Getting really, really strong here. Just gonna keep pushing. Again, when you're low HP, you're getting so much healing. You're, uh, what's it called? Blade of the Rune King that's doing, or sorry. Well, Blade of the Rune King is obviously healing. Then you have your Q healing, then you have 9% here healing, and then if you have a Doran's Blade like I have, it heals as well. Take it. Just need to make sure we keep autoing there. That's the key. Honestly, kind of got distracted talking and then was just AFK pushing in a kind of stupid situation. Really shouldn't be overextended like that with no vision. Especially when I'm the guy that's trying to carry. Well, Yi's gonna be massive, so I'm not gonna have to be the only person carrying. Yi's gonna be massive, and honestly, this guy being behind doesn't really matter because he's doing a glacial augment build, which is really like a utility focused build. So all we have to do is play to our win conditions. The four of them can actually team fight really well. I can teleport in and then no one can deal with me 1v1. So I want to split when that's the case. We can 1-3-1 one, one, or we can 4-1. Both are good options. 1-3-1 one, one is where we'd have Master Yi in one lane, the other three, which actually are really good at getting away from people. This guy... Obviously, all the slows from Glacial Augment plus Ultimate to get away. Ezreal stands super far away as it is. And then can Yi away. Thresh can stand far away in W, Lantern, somebody. So our three has a lot of disengage. Yi can split and I can split. And no one can 1v1 either of us. So they have to send two people to deal with us. Um, I don't get him because he's just going to jump. And uh, Yi's, or Master Lee. Let me try that again. Lee Sin is coming top lane. <laughs> or bot lane, rather. Wow, speaking is difficult. Uh, Lee Sin's over here for sure. I don't understand why this guy would ever stay. See what I mean when I said there's like no escaping here? I get 5 stack and I press R on you and you die. Normally I'm not terrible and I can land my E after an R. Like he gets slowed by R. That's why you do R before you do E. Because he gets slowed by the R and then it's very easy to land the E if you're not bad. Like I was right there. Team got destroyed, that's really bad. If they kite to me, I might be able to get over there in time. I need to run down because the enemy team could potentially go to Baron here. Ugh, I don't like this at all. They know where I am. I think we could actually make a play here. I can back get item. I think I should. I'll go magic resist after this. Well, some more, I mean. Or I could do GA. GA actually might be the way to go. 
Yeah, I kind of like J better, actually. We'll do that. J, and then we'll get magic assist next. Uh, it was kind of unfortunate. I didn't have teleport there, and then my team lost 4v4. I'm actually kind of surprised on. But once this guy gets three items, it's probably over for them. Three items or wit's end. Well, that would be a third item too, but you get what I'm saying. Yeah, we could play for dragon. Oh, whoops, that was a melee minion. You want your range minions right now, you don't want your melees. Mm, I can clear it a wave and then I'll go do the scuttle crab. I see two on the map right now. Oh, I meant to auto that one, whoops. I see Lisa in mid lane too. Cool, cool, cool. Run this way. They don't have anybody up here, this is kind of odd. Nice. Damn, I keep putting my W on cooldown, or my Q on cooldown by failing. Um, I destroy this guy. If I can get to him. I wonder if she warded here. Yep. Their blue's coming up in a second. Ah, oh, damn, my ward's in two, one, zero, yay, okay. I thought you were going to keep walking forward. I'm trolling. Oh my god. He's going to feel safe. So I'm going to walk up here. Oh, no, never mind. I mean, I'll just push bottom. I have teleport now. Sweet. Can look for a play under tower. It's just sort of hard. We're just waiting here. Get a better opportunity. Oh, he's going ham. I flash. Ooh. Boy. If I had ultimate, I would have made a play already. It's just literally only because I don't have ultimate that I'm not trying to do something here. Just finished tower. Back to bot. Just trying to fish. If I hit E, I can go in. Now, the fact that I used my ult incorrectly really is what would cost me that play. Because I could have ult flashed. Made a huge play. Uh oh, that guy's dead. I don't really know how he's going to get out here. I'm assuming he's going to run this way. We're just looking for a bork. Pop potion. We have a... Uh, I fucked up, man. Oh, the Lee Sin kick, dude. I needed to flash away from him. That was what I had to do. I could have killed the other guy. I just had to flash away from Lee. Ugh. I was trying to ult flash, but... Ugh. I don't know. I'm making stupid plays. We can sell this. Get this. Just the ultimate from Lee ruined it. My next Q kills uh, Kaisa, and then they don't have enough damage to kill me after that because it would just be Swain and uh, this guy. Of course, when she came, she'd have enough damage to kill me, but it'd be kind of a while. I have a teleport here. Just no, I won't have ultimate for 10 seconds. Actually, I don't even know if that's true. I was going to say, we don't want this game to stall out too much, but we got a Master Yi. So maybe I'm wrong about that. Plus, I scale really hard too. I'm obviously taking this. Just keep autoing, we're fine. Then get that other guy too. Sweet, we can push to this tower. We killed two. Again, if there's minions there, I'd W right now to keep my five stack up. It's all right.
Just walk back. All I'm trying to do is zone here. That champion's literally useless. Wait, she killed Master Yi though? How? They literally cannot do anything here. I don't know what they're doing. They're trying to make a play. <laughs> I feel like we could walk into this bush and kill somebody. Just walk up, I'm fine. What are you doing, bud? I right clicked. I don't even have my hands on the fucking keyboard. That's why this build's OP. Really good charm. Big motherfucking plays, baby. Nice, too fast. Whew. Let's go. Our healing's just absurd. I got 24% lifesteal, my Q heals, a wit's end. GG, baby. Noise. Reconnect. I'm good. Mm, give it to this guy. Honestly, all three of them played fine. Well, they, they didn't do well, but they didn't give up, which is all I care about. <laughs> Noise. Not bad. All these people are D4 plat 1. I'm in my uh, placement games on this account. Not too bad. Uh, healing done is what I wanted to see. Yeah, look at this. 12,000 healing done. That's pretty insane. Like, look at these two champions. This is all through, like, autos and stuff. It's not like I have an actual heal on one of my... Well, okay, I guess my Q has a heal, but it's very small. It's like 30 every time I Q or something. Pretty low. But, yeah. Just between all the healing that we have in our kit, it's just... And then when we get low HP, we just simply right-click. Because this is healing for 100%... Uh, or, sorry. It's healing for... Uh, what's it called? 100% of the damage done. So, if I'm doing 80 damage each hit, right? healing for 100 percent of that so i'm healing 80 80 80 80 and my q is applying a hit as well same thing with obviously this my q is applying the 12 percent damage and then i have a ton of auto attack so i'm autoing like crazy yeah it's pretty op i like this build i mean if you pop off if you're really far behind it's obviously not good like everything but yeah anyways gg well played hope you guys enjoyed that one make sure to tune in next time if you're watching over on youtube make sure to like the video subscribe for more content like this if you're watching on the live stream make sure to follow the live stream, stream every single day 6 a.m to 12 noon est Follow, be alerted when I go live. GG, well played. Thanks for watching. Make sure to tune in next time. Peace.